Hey y'all, welcome to part number five of Eating Good in the Woods, How to Travel to Scotland Affordably. Today we are going to discuss attractions and how to go see them the most affordable way. Okay, you have flown, you have gotten to Scotland, you saved a bunch of money by taking my advice on an air miles card, you have flown for free or next to it, you've rented a car, you have familiarized yourself enough with the traffic laws by watching my videos, maybe did a little research on the old interwebs there, and you found yourself a great place to stay, you've went to the grocery store, you've stocked up your place, you're ready to save a few bucks and go see Scotland like a champ. What do you do now? Stick around, and I'll show you how. Now, first things first, did you go get you a copy of Scotland for Dummies? Come on now, you're going to need this. Okay, now, you have went to the grocery store and you're ready to go explore Scotland. Let's say you're staying near Glasgow, so you've picked Glasgow to be your first location to go check out. Let me tell you a little something about Glasgow. Glasgow, for your Scotland trip, will probably be one of the cheaper days that you go see stuff in Scotland, because almost everything in Glasgow is free. Now, there are a few things that you might want to spend out a few bucks on. For instance, the City Sightseeing Bus Tour. It's a big double-decker bus that takes you all over Glasgow, points out all the high points, all the cool stuff there is to see, and then you can spend the rest of the day hopping on and hopping off that bus at those locations. It's very cool. If you want, it's about $22 a day, I think is what it is per person. To me, it's worth it. However, they have a wonderful public transport system. So if you wanted to download the bus schedule and where the bus stops are, you can map out your day quite easily and you're looking at £4.70 for the whole day. Hop on, hop off the bus. But like I said, once you get to Glasgow, tons of free stuff to do. You got the transport museum, the tall ship, You've got Glasgow Cathedral, the Necropolis, if you're into graveyards, which I am, the Necropolis is really, really cool. You've got George Square, if you like to people watch. I like to people watch. Kelvin Grove Museum is one of the coolest museums, and it's got the Salvador Dali painting, Christ of St. John, I think is what it's called. You've got the Gallery of Modern Art, the St. Mungo Museum of Modern Religion. The Burl Collection. Oh my goodness, you could spend all day at the Burl Collection. So you could spend the whole day in Glasgow for next to nothing. It is fantastic. What a great day. And because of a grant given to the city, all museums are free. They've also got some of the most beautiful parks you'd ever want to see. Like the uh, Kelvin Grove Park, Glasgow Green. Glasgow is great fun. All right, so let's move on to a day in Edinburgh. Let me tell you a couple of ways that you can save a few bucks and get to see everything you want to see. The city sightseeing bus also operates in Edinburgh, which is a great way for 22 bucks. They take you to every location of worth in Edinburgh. So you'll, they'll take you by the castle. They'll take you by Greyfriars Kirkyard. They'll take you to the last drop, which is where the last public execution happened in Scotland. All of the cool places. And then you can hop on and hop off and ride that bus all day long. Alternatively, for £4.50, I believe it is, you can ride the bus. Just like in Glasgow, they have a wonderful public transport system. And for £4.50, you can ride it all day long. And here's a money-saving tip. When you go to the top of the mile, that's where the Edinburgh Castle is. That's where the Scottish Crown Jewels are. Very cool place. Make sure you're there for the 1 o'clock gun. Anyhow, they have this thing that they call the Historic Scotland Explorer Pass. It currently is £53 for a seven-day pass, and that covers two adults and three children. It is absolutely fantastic, and what a money saver. You go to two or three castles, and you're already making money on this thing. Fantastic. So it, it has St. Andrew's Cathedral, St. Andrew's Castle. It's got the Dune Castle, which Outlander was filmed part of it there. Sterling Castle. I mean, it is just chock full of locations that you can go and visit 
And once you pay your 53 pounds for your family, everything is free. Fantastic service, great way to save money. Spend a couple hours at the Edinburgh Castle and then start walking down the mile where there is just tons of cool stuff to see and, and do. For instance, lots and lots of shopping. They got every kind of gift shop, and kilt shop, whiskey. On up the road from there is St. Giles Cathedral, which is a spectacularly beautiful church. And I think for just a small donation, if you make a donation, you can go in and, and tour the church. You have the John Knox House, and then on up the street, just a little bit on the other side of the street, is the Museum of Edinburgh. In the Museum of Edinburgh, lots of cool stuff in the history of the city, but they also have Greyfriar Bobby's bowl, his license, and his collar. After you go to the museum, make your way on down the hill, and at the bottom of the hill is the Parliament Building, which is fascinating, and Holyrood Palace, which is where the Queen stays when she's in, in Edinburgh bunch of history fantastic place to see it is a little on the pricey side but I think it's worth it continue on past there and you'll find yourself at Arthur's seat which is this hike it's it's it's, it's a bit of a hike but once you get to the top of Arthur's seat the, the view of Edinburgh is absolutely spectacular so go visit Edinburgh I think you'll really enjoy it all right so you have visited the two largest cities in Scotland and congratulations you've spent the largest amount of money you're going to spend on a daily basis from this point out there is just some beautiful things that you can go and see that will cost you a little bit of nothing and a tank of gas first and foremost what we like to do and I wouldn't dare tell you guys what to do but take the loop up around the north end of Loch Lomond and go into Glencoe Glencoe is a beautiful mountain pass beautiful mountain range it is gorgeous but before you go in there stop at the green well here's a picture of it right here it's one of our favorite places to stop make sure you have a full tank of gas because it's quite a drive and stop in and get you some snacks and if the restaurants open get you a soup or something of that nature and then head on into Glencoe I promise you won't regret it at the end of Glencoe is this beautiful little village called Fort William now there's not a whole lot to do in Fort William as far as like attractions are concerned it's just this charming little village on a loch and you go do a little bit of shopping from there set your GPS to take you to Oban where there is tons of stuff to do in Oban and I promise you this all this can all be done in one day go into Oban have your dinner at the Lorne there's a picture of it right here but there's lots to do and watch the scroll here lots of stuff that you can do that's either free or is included in your Explorer Pass. What? More free stuff to do? Okay, get up one morning and set your GPS for Sterling, where you can go and see a bunch of stuff in Sterling. you got the Sterling Castle. You've got the Wallace Monument. you got the Old Town Jail. You've got, oh, Battle of Bannockburn and Sterling Bridge. You can't miss this stuff. At the end of this, set your GPS for St. Andrews. You'll be going about another hour and a half northeast of Stirling where you'll see St. Andrew's Cathedral, St. Andrew's Castle, the old course if you're into golf and nearby there is Glen Eagles. Lots of stuff to see and do in St. Andrew's too, most of which is included in your Explorer Pass. What? More free stuff to do? Come on guys, y'all are wearing me out. I'm just kidding. I'm glad that you're interested. Here's some more stuff you can do. Get up one morning and set your GPS for Loch Ness. Go have a look for old Nessie. She's out there. Go to Urquhart Castle, which is included in your castle pass. And then set your GPS for a town called Pit Lockery. Pit Lockery is where you will see, oh, it's just a beautiful little village, but you'll also see Queen's View, picture of it right here, and Soldier's Leap in Killicranky. Again, another picture right here. And listen, if you pay attention, on the right-hand side of the road, as in between Loch Ness and Pit Lockery, if you're a fan of the show Monarch of the Glen, you will see the Ardbarricky estate off to the right across the loch that served for Glen Bogle in the show Monarch of the Glen. Top tip. Get a copy of Scotland for Dummies and make yourself an itinerary. Do exactly what it is that you want to do because this is your vacation. Treat this as if it'll be the last time you ever do something like this. Well, listen, I hope to see you guys in Scotland. Until then, I sure love y'all. God bless, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.